I still think it's fine. Me trying to convince myself. I still think it's fine. Because let me just convince myself for a little bit longer. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, founder of NYGC or Not Your Girl Must Crochet. And wow, last week's vlog, last week's vlog, we got done three different things. We're making progress. We're pretty much done with all the first round of samples. Still currently trying to figure out if I'm going to make a second top design or not. It'll just kind of depend on how the next two and a half weeks go. But in this vlog, we actually have quite a bit that needs to get done. Most importantly, this year set. I feel like I've been talking about for quite some time that I love this card again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just had a package delivered. That scared me so bad. Anyways, I feel like I've been talking about for the longest that I love this card again. Literally love her. And now she has a friend, a cute little bag to go with it. Love it. Love it. Love it. However, what I do not love as much is the mini skirt. I feel like the mini skirt is a little bit too mini let's quickly try it on and talk about it okay so here are the vibes and here's my issue my issue is that i tend to wear things more like high-waisted this is like where i naturally want to wear things and when i do such a thing this is just too short if i do wear it like low-waisted then the length is perfectly fine but naturally, I just do make things higher. So, I have my measuring tape here to measure. I believe this should be, it might be as short as 12 inches. Yes, this is 12 inches and I need to get it to 14, I believe. When I initially made this last summer, I was not thinking. <laughs> I'm kidding not kidding i was just kind of i always loved the idea of a mini skirt like a mini mini skirt i feel like also it was more trendy last summer to do like the ultra mini store situation where you do wear it low waisted so it doesn't fill that many but it's just not practical for me so this skirt is like a pretty good example of a skirt that I can wear high-waisted and it's still be mini. Let's see how long it is. This one is 15 and a half inches. Okay, one more point of measurement is this cutesy black skirt, which I don't really show off too much just because I love the skirt, but I don't like the matching sort of situation. But when I get the matching sort of situation figured out, you will get sick of seeing me in the skirt. Anyways, the length of this one is perfect, so this will decide. Okay, this one is also about 15 and a half. So that decides it. We're going to add three or so inches to the skirt just to make it a lot more of a comfortable length. The other thing to determine is if I'm going to keep the slit right here. I like the slit when I don't have this cardigan on, but when I have the cardigan on and I pull this down, I just don't know. We'll leave it, we'll leave it. So that's the number one thing. After we get this sorted, we're remaking the set completely as our second sample, which has to be timed. And it's already Tuesday and I'm committed to getting this vlog up Sunday. So what I'm saying is I have to finish remaking this skirt tonight, <laughs> essentially. Um, so that I can start working on the second sample. I am a believer in myself. Also, the second, oh, two things. One, the second sample is not going to feature flowers or anything. 
I'm currently making the executive decision to do one version of my samples with the flowers and one version of my samples without the flowers. Once I finish everything up for some of my older things like the purple pants, I might decide to add flowers to that. We'll see, we'll see. But right now, one thing I will be doing once I finish this and as I work on the second sample is figuring out how slash where I would want to place flowers on this skirt slash if I would even want to do such a thing. But yeah, okay, one time for good, for good, what's the word? Measure, for good measure, I'm going to measure this on me. I want this to go past my belly button and then go to about here. That's 14 inches, so making it 15 inches will be perfect, especially on the butt. I feel like one more inch. Anywho, I am literally about to unravel the bits of this that I need to unravel and then edit and upload the vlog that goes live today. So we are in shambles over here in Notre Grandma's Crochet Studios, but we're we're making progress on things, so it's it's fine. I cannot be trusted. That is one thing about me. I cannot be trusted. I was making progress on the skirt, okay? And then somewhere along the lines, my math got kind of weird and I got confused and I was like, it's supposed to be 14 and a half inches or 15 inches or can I do 14 inches? Like I was just getting confused. And then the math that I was doing on the skirt, cause it was like one inch, one inch. And then like, what was supposed to be 11 inches or 12 inches. <sighs> Today, um, I haven't really been able to crochet cause I've been doing work. But when I did get a pocket for me to crochet, I was like, you know what Taylor, why not just actually measure? So I grabbed this skirt mm -hmm, and I grabbed this skirt, which I cannot remember at this point in time. I don't think I tried these on in the last clip, but I knew that I liked the measurement of especially this black skirt. Like this black skirt is perfect. I feel very comfortable with like the length and everything. I feel like it's short, but still long enough that I can like live my life pretty comfortably. Anywho, and so I had measured this, right? I had measured it yesterday. That's what I did. I measured them. I did not try them up. And in that clip, I said, the skirt is 15 and a half inches. And I was like, huh. And then I checked what I said for this skirt and it also said 15 and a half inches. But then I was like, this skirt feels like it's shorter so i was like what and so then my brain was like no that version of you didn't know how to read a measuring tape actually so you meant 14 inches <laughs> so then i went back into my math and i was like honestly me thinking was 14 inches just makes a lot more sense because with the math i had it still wasn't equaling up to like 14 and a half slash 15 inches. It was more like 14. I don't know, there was like a discrepancy. So I ended up unraveling a fair amount of my progress. Cause I was like, oh, I, I did extra. And so that brings us here in this moment where I just tried on it's currently at 14 inches. I only have the front side of the slit done, so I can't try it on camera. But just now, it's still, it almost feels like the same length. So then I tried this on and I was like, okay, this, this definitely feels like a comfortable length and this does not feel like that. So I'm going to unravel what I just did, sadly add an inch more to like the round and then split for the slits, 
I guess. Let me try this skirt on first. I'll measure it and then try the skirt on and we'll see. Okay, so this skirt is 15 inches. I will say this one fits tighter than the other one. The other one decreases a bit more where this one is a bit more of a fitted vibe and this is 15 inches. I would say I do wear the skirt out but it's not as comfortable as the black skirt but I'm going to attribute it to just the fact that it's a little bit tighter and not the fact that it's shorter. And here's the back, which the back feels shorter than that one. Let me, let me measure this. Okay. Like I said, I just measured the blue one, but I have one. That's 15 inches. This black one. Oh, please. Okay, so the black and white one is 15 and a half inches. How do I feel about that? I mean, it really is more of a comfortable length, I cannot lie. And I really care about that. I mean, I'm making all these clothes. In the perfect world, these clothes are my clothes. Maybe I'll decide to sell them as samples one day but like i'm designing these with the idea that they're in my closet so i feel like that does matter i think my main my major hold up is that like i just feel like a mini mini skirt is really cute it's really summer but am i really going to wear it that there is the question am i really going to wear it If this was half an inch longer, would it make a difference to me? It kind of would make a difference to me. I'm also kind of annoyed because like by this time, I really wanted to be finishing this up so I can move on to the second sample of it all that this video is supposed to be discussing. And it's concerning me, but that's a concern that I just can't even get into right now. <sighs> okay, I'm going to unravel what I just did, which is going to make me sad. I'm going to add an inch and a half, which is literally what I had before I unraveled it this afternoon. And um, I'll add these two inches back. My biggest concern is I just don't want to like go through, do all this work to get it to this longer length and then not like how it looks with this. So maybe let's pull this down by half an inch or so. Since this one has the double slits and now this makes this a more comfortable length for me. And I think that I, I'm prioritizing that. I am. Well, that is really annoying and I'm a little upset at past Taylor for making that silly executive decision to do that unraveling, but you know what? You live and you learn. So I'm going to get this back in order and hopefully when I come to you next, it's with a finished skirt. There is one other thing on here that's kind of incorrect. When I placed where this tie goes through, I didn't center it and it annoys me so much. It doesn't annoy me quite enough that I'm going to immediately fix it, I don't think, but it is on my list. Like I have a running list of like the collections done and I have a few days. What things would I like to improve? This is one of them. So, such is life, um, I'm annoyed, I can't lie, but it's really important to me to have wearable things and I knew something was not 
go in correctly with that. So, such is life. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. So, I did end up getting the skirt to a good length. I feel like I would comfortably wear the skirt just as a skirt. I don't remember if, yeah, I think last time I mentioned something, I said I was going to make the skirt 15 inches and I was sad because it meant I was gonna have to unravel a little bit, but I ended up just making the slit a bit longer so that it just, is a little bit because it, 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 you get what I'm trying to say instead of making a two inch long slit on each side I made a three inch long slit and I think that it solved both my problems one it gave me more length which was, which was what I was wanting and two I feel like now the slit is at like a more intentional length so when you see the slit poking out from the bottom of the cardigan it just looks a lot better additionally i think i mentioned that i was considering redoing this top part because this band is like not centered i feel like it looks slightly more centered maybe like the placement of where i put the other slit was just like maybe the slit was the issue and not this unsure but regardless i end up not touching that and yeah i feel like this is definitely a comfortable length even if i was wear like what i have on right now i could very comfortably go out and about in the world which is the idea I want a cute little top have your bikini underneath take it off you're at the pool boom wonderful the only thing is that I was thinking, also it's the next day. I did not say that. It's the next day. I worked on this for a good bit of the morning. I also did other things like wash my hair and do some work and stuff. And now it's the next evening, like seven o'clock at night. I also did get started on the white version of the skirt just because I was out and about running errands. I was like, yeah, why not get started on it? So anyways, the only thing is I initially was saying that I would like to find a way to flowerify the skirt and I'm just unsure. I think that it could be cute to flowerify like this front slit part and the back slit part, but I, I don't know if it like, it's not a priority, I will say that. At this point in time, I have this skein of this yarn and then half essentially of another skein, which I think is the perfect amount to make the other sample of this top. And I just feel like it would be really cute to wear that top with the skirt. So I'm prioritizing the yarn for that. If I do end up having more yarn, maybe I'll add flowers. And if I don't, it is what it is. But yeah, I feel like this is, like the look is definitely coming together. And I'm just glad to now have this skirt at a length that I would actually wear it. While also, it definitely still gives mini skirt. So this is my skirt progress. Not much at all, but enough to get me started. I am wishing on a prayer. Uh, we're definitely getting to the part of my collection where I'm starting to run low-ish on some of the colors, which is good. That means I'm actually using things up. However, it does mean that things are starting to get dicey. So, TBD on the skirt. Yeah. On to the cardigan. So last summer I had the idea to make like a a fully mesh maxi skirt 
which I do think, oh, I have another stitch marker here. Nice. <laughs> which by no means do I think was a bad idea, the mesh maxi skirt. And even like my mesh pants, those, I like the idea. However, I just feel like it is bold to start with that. Well, it's not bold in the sense that like it doesn't take nearly as much time to make mesh things as it does to make things that are maybe more functional and wearable and stuff. But it is bold in the sense that like when I make things like that, it inspires me to make other things, like make the more complicated thing. So then I, I don't know, I don't know. Regardless, I need to unravel this so that I have yarn to make the cardigan. Like I said, this cardigan will be exactly like the teal one I just had on, except it won't have flowers. And I think this is how much yarn I have plus a few scraps. I think I should have just enough yarn. I technically need to have a little bit left over because I think that the skirt is going to require me to use some of this yarn. But we shall see. If all else fails, then I will sacrifice the skirt and finish up this cardigan and then make the skirt in like a different color. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Even though I have already started the skirt, it just kind of is what it is. I will see you hopefully when I've made a fair amount of progress. Wishing on a dream me would really like to get done with the body tonight. Um, that is hopeful. That is being very wishful. Realistic me would like to at least do up until the armpit. That is literally 15 inches. But it's 15 inches of mesh. So, you know, I guess we'll see. Also, today is Thursday. And as I said, this vlog is going up Sunday. Am I a little stressed? Not super stressed. I don't have any plans Saturday as of right now. Nor do I have any obligations Sunday. So, that's why I need to get the, the this body part done. If I could get the body part done tonight by some miracle, so then I only have the sleeves realistically really to do tomorrow, and then I can just focus on the skirt Friday evening and Saturday, or Saturday, all day Saturday, and then Sunday, up until I upload the video, that would be a dream. That would be a dream. But I guess we'll see. Any hoodly doodly, I'm gonna finish unraveling this and go live. Howdy. It is Saturday. I did not, I don't think, update it all yesterday, mostly because I was in denial that I would get more done. <laughs> yesterday was just kind of a weird day. Anyways, I've now gotten to a point where I'm done with the body portion. And now I'm moving into the vest and am I concerned? A little. It's Saturday at 1.42 p.m. This is how much yarn I have. Now I will say I did forget how much this bottom part is. Like it literally is the majority of the yarn. And I was a little... I was a little forgetful. I will admit, I was a little forgetful. Another thing that happened. Um, I wrote everything down in my notebook. Um, and there were some areas where there were some inconsistencies. So then I had to go back to the teal one and like measure stuff. And I told you guys that like I would try to write out the inches and the steps and for this one I was kind of inconsistent with writing both yeah that's my B that is fully my B so anyways it's time for me to 
fold this to figure out where my halves are that is right i don't really do this in any type of like super duper technical way i literally fold it in half once and then i fold it in half the second time and that is how i base my two sides of my front panel um i have done it before where i like counted it and actually did the math and i don't know i wouldn't say that it's worth doing all that it just I feel like the nature of a handmade garment is that it is not machine perfect and so if it does happen to be like the front right side is like a stitch longer than the front left side well it's a handmade garment that's the nature of it so anyways i have about 26 rows to do on each of these sides I'm kind of basing this after the yellow cardigan that I recently made just because the top portion of that is pretty similar to what I need. My notebook has get, got into the stage where the designs are just kind of everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to copy this down. Oh, do I want to? Do I want to? I think I do. I'm going to copy this down to the T. It may mean that this is this cardigan is one inch shorter. The idea is that it's 27 inches. Me knocking it down might make it more like 26 inches. What? Oh, I didn't look at what I actually needed to. Okay. We're doing two rows of decrease. We're going up. 13 rows. Should I? I'm feeling yes. I'm feeling yes. I'm feeling yes. So anyways, that is my progress. We'll see how long it takes me to get to the vest situation. It's 147 right now. So what's your guess? My guess is like four solid two hours to get it to like a vest we'll see okay i finished the vest portion of this cardigan it did take me a lot longer than I expected but i also had to unravel a section and this is where we're at even though we lost an inch technically i think that it's gonna end up being completely fine especially want to like stretch it out some from the water or whatever the neckline is perfectly primed for the collar and the armhole for the sleeve now here is our issue so from that big ball this is how much yarn I currently have now I also have this amount of the yarn I have this amount of the yarn and I have this amount of the yarn so I think that will get me by and if I need more I also have this yarn which is called baby soft and it fills it literally feels like the in-between of this, which is Bernay Baby Sport, and this, which is Paintbox Simply DK. So, yeah, we'll have like a, a, a little switch up, but mm, this yarn actually has nylon in it. Okay, let me see if I have a fully acrylic. Hmm. okay i can't find it i will probably look some more but i have this memory of this yarn that is acrylic that is from my grandmother my great grandmother
this is my closest option. I mean, it literally feels perfect to weight three, so it'll match up. I just, because it's nylon, I thought it would be fun to play with it for a bikini in the future, but who cares? I also found two more little skeins of my paint box, so that's nice for a skirt. It does have this little brown stain on it, but we'll just cut that off. So, these are my offerings, and this will be just in case. Anywho, let's see. I think I can definitely finish this by like in the next day and a half or day, but the skirt, we'll see. I'll probably spend a few hours on the skirt now because I'm a little bit tired of doing this duplicate situation. Anywho, we'll see. Hi, the lighting is to be desired. I apologize, but I cannot get up for reasons I'm about to explain. Um, after I filmed the last clip, I, you know, was going about my day. I was noticing that I was starting to deal with a bit of foot pain, which was kind of weird, but I felt it before and I usually just like stretch it out. Eh, stretching it out wasn't the best idea. It's now Monday. This vlog is officially not going out until next Monday. And yeah, I still don't know what's wrong with my foot, but it's causing me quite a bit of pain. My guess is that it's like a pinched nerve or something. Um, yeah, I have been trying to make some progress. I'll be honest and say that the pain is a little bit distracting, but I did finish one skein of yarn for the skirt. I haven't actually measured to see how long. The skein was like a little bit used, but it still got me seven inches, which means the next one should definitely get me about seven inches as well. And I think that I might be able to use just the paint box yarn, which is the goal. Unfortunately, I did get started working on the sleeve of the cardigan and I had actually made really good progress but then it just wasn't like decreasing the way I remember the blue one did and it was doing what the purple pants were doing I don't really vlog too much me making the purple pants but essentially part of an issue on those pants is that the decreases in the mesh just aren't really decreases in my opinion like they're they're very subpar decreases and I just figured out why. Everything in me wants to redo that part. I might end up doing it, I don't know, but I did end up redoing the sleeve and now it's going to have the proper decreases. It didn't really take me that long to get to the point where I need, where I made, <laughs> it's better. Um, so yeah, that's that. Another thing that happened, I think maybe Sunday, especially after like realizing that my foot was hurt, I honestly kind of started feeling a bit down. I don't, I can't really say why, uh, besides the fact that I feel like I was making really good progress on this collection and then suddenly I just kind of was like, but what's even the point? <laughs> like what's even the point? Like why am I? rushing myself to get this done it's not even like i'm rushing myself but like why am i pushing myself so hard to get this done um i <laughs> uh my social media have been doing just okay mostly because i've been posting a lot about palestine and stuff like that which has definitely been lowering my views but i mean it's worth it to me to get do my the littlest that i can do to make sure that the people who are talking about it very well get a bigger platform but yeah so that was a little bit discouraging in the sense that like my views are down and I also am feeling a little bit I don't know I don't know that's like a whole separate video conversation and I feel like I'm just not in the headspace to talk about it but I am feeling better now. I'm feeling just kind of like 
I want to make progress on this and we'll see what ends up happening with it. Um, I did get a nice sign getting reached out to by this nice little online magazine to do a, an article with them. So that was a nice reminder to wake up to that like I'm on the right track. So anyways, making progress on this and hoping that my foot will stop hurting me. I just filmed a whole entire clip in the incorrect format but i'm going to record again because i also was rambling along i don't really remember part of what i was talking about is the fact that i literally cannot remember my memory right now absolutely garbage can't remember if i took medicine i it's 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 actually frightening it's a little frightening updates after unraveling my progress, not as much as the past few days. Oh, also, it's Wednesday. It's like one o'clock-ish. I've spent the morning crocheting instead of getting ahead on my work. Mostly because I needed to solve this puzzle once and for all. Essentially, what was happening was one, I couldn't figure out the decreases. At first I was decreasing too little and then yesterday I kind of came to the conclusion that I was decreasing too much. Today I came to the realization that I was in fact decreasing too much but it wasn't necessarily because I messed up. It was because I wasn't factoring in the fact that if you remember earlier in this vlog I said that in the body I had taken away an inch. And in doing that, it meant that if I decrease the same amount as the blue card again, that I would be decreasing too much, making it too tight because I removed an inch on the body and I do everything in the round, whatever. I finally figured that out. Also, this is how much yarn I have. So I just decided to get both sides to the same position our situation like here like here and then with this little bit extra that I currently have I'm going to go around the neck starting the collar and then I'll switch to this yarn am I concerned about using this yarn I am <laughs> but I just there's I have no other option so lol Gosh, this is like an insane trick on my memory. It's like, you it's a true test. No thoughts. I have no thoughts right now. No, this is scary. <laughs> like, I mean, I've already been scared about the fact that I don't remember if I took ibuprofen today. I also, the same thing happened yesterday. But now it's like, no, this is scary. Why can I not remember what I said literally two minutes ago? Okay. Um, I was talking about the card again. I had already talked about the collar. I talked about the fact that I didn't really love the fact that I was using, gonna have to use a whole different yarn. <sighs> that thought was gone forever. Oh, I did also wanna mention the fact that I have not been making progress on the skirt. So when I finish this, whenever that is, I will do that. I truly have no idea what I was going to say. So. Shut your mouth. Anywho, I guess that's my sign to end this. If you're curious how much yarn I got from that little bowl, it was enough for me to line the collar and then do five, a little bit more than five rows out of 10 to 12. So about halfway there that's cool or whatever i'm trying to decide 
should I test what this looks like? Oh, it just feels so different. Let's just test, we'll, we'll see. You guys know I don't like change, I don't like mixing colors, I don't like any of it. I did think two things I forgot to mention. One, thank you so much for 13,000 subscribers. Um, thank you. Two, let me know, do you guys prefer longer vlogs like my hour-ish long vlogs or do you prefer the shorter ones? I have noticed that the shorter ones definitely get more views, but I am the type of person that, um, as a YouTube watcher, I prefer to watch longer vlogs, so you just let me know. Anyways, if you guys do not do this, I'm about to do a, I think it's called a magic knot. It's how I combine the yarn. Essentially, you have the new yarn, you have the old yarn, you stack it on top of itself, you make one knot, wrapping it around, kind of like you're starting a slip knot, with the new yarn pool. I try to get this as, like, I try to get this little tail part as short as possible. Most people would like cut this, but for my own stuff, I usually don't because I get lazy. Boom, then you pull it taut. It should be tight like that, but you can still like slide it. So that's one side. Then this is the side with the old yarn tail. And you do the same. You just wrap it around the set, pull it through, and voila. Like I said, most it's recommended that you cut a little extra tail because once it gets here it's fine but i get lazy but it is a habit i need to get out of i try not to do it for my orders and stuff like that just because i think it looks weird to have those little extra bits it makes it pop out more but alas and this is what we have i probably could have cut it even shorter but such life i will say the whites are pretty similar so let's see let's crochet a bit and see what it looks like i will say it does feel nice it does feel nice it is less dense um like i said they're both weight three yarns i'm pretty sure Oh wait, I haven't even gotten to the new one yet. I'm over here talking. Hold on. Here's the new one. It is definitely noticeably less dense. Um, which is what it is. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm at the very end of this and I'll be loosening up my tension just to hope to match it better. Cause yeah this girly is less dense for sure very soft though this is the lion brand baby lion brand baby soft i think this was a part of the yarn that my friend gave me it is 60 percent acrylic 40 percent nylon so definitely good for like baby stuff it, i mean it's like it's super freaking soft, I cannot even lie. So, definitely good yarn. Would be interested in what the price is. Should I look it up? Let me finish this row and then I'll look it up. Here's essentially one row of it. You can't really tell the difference. And if you can, don't tell me that you can because I don't want to hear it. But let me look it up. Pretty inexpensive. This is 459 yards. I will say because it is a baby line, it does mostly come in like, you know, baby-esque colors. So not the biggest selection of baby yarn or like of colors. I'm thinking that this is Lion Brand's version of the Baby Sport, the Brene Baby Sport, which is 
what this cardigan is made out of and i will say it is a lot softer there's obviously less of it um but it is softer so i haven't used enough of it right now to say especially like how it will work with a smaller hook but i quite like it and it's a it's a decent price six dollars and 74 cents regularly eight dollars and 99 cents so i'm gonna go eat while i'm famished and i will be back when all the mesh bits are done that is my number one achievable goal for the evening is to get all the mesh bits done so like finish the sleeve finish the collar and then i might switch over to the skirt because my brain just needs a break but it is Thursday. I think I vlogged yesterday, so it's the next day. And I finally finished the mesh bits. I did the collar. I finished the sleeve. And now I have something to try on for you. Does that mean I am done? Absolutely not. No, I am not done. But we are close. this oh i am standing here before you but my foot is still in some pain so i'm going to be very careful but and i will say it has gotten better i don't remember if i talked about it yesterday because my brain was kind of all over the place but i would say i'm like 70 75 percent so i'm going to continue to be careful for the next few days but we're on the up and up. Anywho, this is currently where we are at. Um, things to note. I love the sleeve. Um, I am still obsessed with how I'm doing this mesh. It's like you can tell that it's see-through, but it's not like giving everything away. And that was my goal um and i did take an inch off the sleeve and i'm happy that i did because it's still about the perfect length another thing that i'm pretty happy about is that you cannot really tell where i switched and I had to change the new yarn so mission accomplished what do i have left i still have the button panel right here to add and I still have to do the bottom and then line everything with my single crochets and slip knots. But that shouldn't that shouldn't take me too too long. I do also still have to finish the skirt. I think now that I've made pretty good progress on this, I want to take a break and switch over to the skirt and then we'll see. In the perfect world, I can finish everything tomorrow. I think in the ideal world i'll probably end up finishing everything saturday um that's fine all in all i'm obsessed and i'm happy that i'm not putting flowers on this one while i think it would look super cute with flowers don't mind me just kind of panicking do i think these sleeves are too long No, I think that the yarn that I switched to, because of the nylon, it just kind of stretches out a bit more. But I think that it's it's actually fine. Anywho, panic aside, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I'm glad that I didn't put, or I my plans were to not put flowers on this one. If you guys have been watching my vlogs since my summer vlogs when I initially made the teal one, I ended up putting the flowers on the teal one just because, I don't know, it was just calling to me. But this one, this one is not calling to me and I'm happy for that because I don't have any plans to add flowers to this one. And I was hoping that I would be okay with that decision and I am. So, win-win. I am going to semi-panic over the fact that these sleeves are a little bit longer than I would like. But like I said, I think it's because I switched the yarn and this new yarn is ever so slightly more stretchy. 
I still think it's fine. Me trying to convince myself. I still think it's fine. Because let me just convince myself for a little bit longer. On this one, the teal, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. And this one, the sleeve is literally an inch longer. <sighs> Still eats. So, and yeah, I do like the longer sleeve. That one just needs to be washed to like get its shape and whatnot. But anywho, brackets. Next time you see me, maybe I'll update you about the pant, the shorts, the shorts. Maybe I'll update you about the skirt. <laughs> But honestly, I kind of just want to finish it up, to be honest. So, I think I'll be right in this spot, but in like a finished white look. So, transition. We'll see if I remember to do that. <laughs> I think that was the transition. Anywho, the outfit is complete i will say that because i had to use a different yarn it does fit like a little bit more oversized but it's whatever <laughs> my sample and future products will be made with the yarn that i use for the teal version i'm just glad that in general the silhouette is correct so obviously we have the cardigan with the collar I have buttons on here so that you can close it up if you want. And the skirt is so cute. It's literally the perfect length. I feel very comfortable if I were to just be out and about like so. This is the bikini top. I'm not quite done with the bikini bottom, but very comfortable, very cute, very, very summer ready. I'm feeling I'm feeling summer ready. So, what an accomplishment. We did in fact get things done. <laughs> we did in fact get things done this week. May it have actually have been two weeks, potentially. But, I mean, two perfect skirts came out of it, so. I think it's worth it. I think it was worth it. You'll have to let me know. I figured I would just show you the full effect. Imagine you and your girls are going on a vacation, a beach vacation. It's a themed night sort of situation and you decide on white and this is your look. It just... Perfection. Perfection. Anyways, that is the end of this video. <laughs> Please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you can stay up to date with all my vlogs. I apologize that I've been gone for a little bit, but we have content logged and loaded now and we are finishing this collection. So, in addition to subscribing to my channel and liking my video, make sure that you follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. Let me de let me know down below what other color would you love to see this set in. I feel like when I initially posted the blue one, people were like, oh my gosh, you should do pink. And I feel like pink would also eat. Um, when I make these available in my summer collection, pink will definitely be an option that you can have it done in but anywho bye you guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you have the best rest of your day